Guys, today I'm taking a look at something pretty cool. We're talking video upscaling and specifically the Nero AI video upscaler. Now let me tell you, I've thrown some crusty old clips at this thing and the results, honestly, impressive. So if you have old video that you want to breathe new life into, stick around, I'll be back in just a few seconds. What's up YouTube, Dave here with Scene for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech. So if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. So guys, yes, this is the Nero AI video upscaling software. Now, if you don't know Nero, well, they've been involved with multimedia software, including DVD authoring, video editing, and a ton more for decades. And this AI video upscaling software is gonna breathe new life into your old movies. Now, before we get into it, Nero reached out and asked me to take a look at this AI video upscaling software and give it an honest review. And guys, you know that whatever I review, you're always going to get my honest opinion, good, bad or indifferent. So let's start off by getting this software installed. Now, head over to the Nero website and download the software. Once downloaded, you are presented with a very clean interface. All you need to do is drop your old video footage into the app space, and as soon as you do that, you're gonna see a split screen which shows you your original movie on the left and the upscaled version on the right. Now, below that, you've got some playback controls. You've also got some basic editing functions. And of course, guys, you've got the timeline. Now, on the right, you have your upscale options. And these consist of the AI model of which there are five of which we will get into in just a bit. You then have the upscale amount, which takes you all the way to 4K and actually sometimes even 8K if your original footage can handle that. You can select the frame rate and whether you want to use interpolation. You have the ability to detect the scene and slow motion and your export options. Now, once your clip has been loaded in, you have to process that clip for a three second preview. And when processed, you can move the slider left and right to see how the upscaled version looks. So I've chosen realistic as my AI model and I kept the upscale at two times. And you can see after the preview loads that the upscaled version looks a lot cleaner with a lot more detail. Now I'm gonna try this clip with face enhancement as this is a face after all. And again, we will let the clip process and boom, there you go. I mean, the, the results are quite amazing. I mean, everything is a lot clearer and a lot sharper. Now, just a bit more detail about the various AI models. So first of all, you get fast mode. Well, fast mode, it's like a quick once over for your footage. If you just need something sharper without spending hours rendering, it does the job. The results aren't mind blowing, but it's noticeably cleaner than the original. Think of it as a solid, good enough option when you're in a rush or you're handling a ton of clips. But if you want that real detail changed, then realistic mode is where the magic happens. This one is pretty much my favorite one because it just tightens everything up beautifully. The image gets sharper, the noise gets cleaned up, and most importantly, it doesn't mess with your footage too much. It respects the original, so no weird AI hallucinations, no fake textures, just a sharper, more natural version of what was already there. Now, if you're dealing with people on camera, like interviews, family videos, vlogs, etc., then face enhancement mode is a gem. It zeroes in on facial gestures like eyes, hair, skin tone, and makes them pop without making things look plastic or over filtered. It's like a subtle beauty boost. 
just enough to make your subjects look clean and detailed without turning them into uncanny dolls. Then guys, there's animation mode and this one's built for cartoons, anime, motion graphics, that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not something that I'm into, but it does sharpen stuff up. It sharpens outlines, boosts contrast and keeps those vibrant colors intact. It's punchy without being overdone. Lines are crisper, edges are more defined, and it's perfect for stylized footage where detail matters. And finally, guys, there's versatile mode. This one is a bit of a wild card. I mean, it takes longer to process, but sometimes it pulls out those details that you just didn't even know were there. It works best with tricky footage, scenes with lots of movement, textures, and maybe mixed lighting. I mean, I found it especially good on cinematic clips or nature footage where there's a lot going on in both the foreground and the background. Now, processing a whole movie can be time consuming, so Nero also supports batch processing. So if you've got a folder full of old family videos and you want to upscale overnight, just drag, drop, pick a model and you are done. No need to babysit it. And when it's all said and done, You've got export options up to 4K and even, as I said, 8K, depending on what your source footage can handle. It is a solid way to breathe new life into content that would otherwise stay stuck in the past. Just know, if you're trying to pick an upscale mode that's too high, the software will advise you if it thinks it's too much to handle and may make your footage look worse. So guys, here are examples of the footage I upscale with Nero, and it's safe to say that they look a ton better than the original source. Look at the detail in the faces and the textures, etc. I mean, it's truly like night and day. So guys, there you have it, Nero AI Video Upscaler. It isn't just a gimmick. Pick the right model, prep your footage correctly, and you'll be shocked at how much cleaner, sharper, and more modern your videos can look. And guys, at the time of this video going live, you can grab a permanent license for this cool software at the discounted price of just £104.30, saving a massive 30%. I'll leave any product links and any discounts in the description. And guys, if you have any comments or questions, then please leave them below. And if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching and thanks to Nero for sending me this very cool software to review. I'm Dave with Seen Through a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.